Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, right, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, one of the subscribers contacted me, and he um, he was having trouble finding the throttle position sensor, and it turned out that um, he bought a throttle position sensor, but he had the e-gas car, which doesn't have a throttle position sensor, and it was because it was advertised for his year of car even though it didn't fit his year of car <coughs> excuse me so um, what I thought we'd do it was we had a long conversation about it and what I thought I'd do is, is bring it to you in a video so the first thing we'll do is cover the correct components for the thing so as I usually do I'll whack up the eBay pages and the first page shows the throttle position sensor for the 96 to 99 cars that's a car with a manual throttle cable there's a lot of talk about cheap sensors and the quality of the sensors that are out there but this sensor is just eight pounds. But the thing is, it comes with a two year warranty. So how can you possibly go wrong? If you have a problem with it, you just send it back, get your money back. And also eBay have got a money back guarantee thing anyway that they run, makes it even better. So anyway, the next one we'll chuck up is the uh, the e-gas, so the e-gas it's like a, a, a motor, a solenoid or um, uh, what do they call it, um, servo unit on the side of the throttle body now it looks like you have to buy the whole throttle body so it's not cheap and that's the one for the electronic throttle for the cars 99 onwards um, so that's, that is the difference if you've got the cable operated one you will want the small throttle position sensor if you've got the e-gas that hasn't got a throttle cable you're going to want the the whole throttle body assembly with the servo on it a lot more expensive so that out the way got that covered first to so cover that bit for you so if you need to know that information you've got it so the throttle position sensor and the other one what does it do what is the point of it well <clears throat> to really understand fully what you the first thing you've got to take into mind is cars are analog they're in the real world the ECU is a computer and it lives in the digital world so we need a connection between them two just like you and your PC. You communicate with your PC via the keyboard and the mouse and the PC communicates back to you. Not that kind of keyboard. And that's a rat. B-roll for a keyboard and mouse. Not exactly rocket science. Talking about rocket science, let's get back to the throttle. Cable throttle. The throttle pedal moves the cable, and the cable moves the butterfly in your throttle body, and the throttle position sensor reports the position of the butterfly to the ECU. Simples! The throttle position sensor is simply a potentiometer just like the dimmer switch in your bedroom as you turn it up and down so it changes the light oh la la hmm. Hmm. anyway let's move on so now we'll look at the e-gas electronic fly-by-wire throttle okay now the e-gas doesn't have a mechanical throttle pedal. The throttle position sensor as such is attached to the throttle pedal 
No, they probably don't call it throttle position sensor anymore. They probably call it part of the throttle pedal or they have some weird and wonderful name for it. But it essentially does the same job. It tells the ECU what position the throttle pedal is at, just like the dimmer switch thing. And then what happens is the ECU then tells the motor, the little servo, on the side of the throttle body to turn the throttle valve, the throttle butterfly, to match the position of the throttle pedal. So there's no physical connection between the two. Now the other thing with that system is it gives the ECU the ability to override any input you make. So for example if you push the throttle pedal down so hard that the back wheel starts spinning the ECU can in essence be programmed so that it reduces the power back off until the wheel stops spinning and then reapplies the power back into wherever you've set the throttle pedal. So if you're thinking of trying to do something like this or maybe like this you're likely to get this. Just what do you think you're doing Dave? Will you please stop calling me Dave? I'm sorry Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. Sorry Hal. <laughs> so lastly, um, let's talk about trying to test the throttle position sensor and the electronic throttle. Now, luckily some of the cheaper diagnostic software that you can get that runs off of your laptop will show you the graph so that you can see the movement of the sensor. Um, it is a bit hit and miss with which ones will do it and which ones won't unfortunately but what I'll do I'll chuck up a link for the software and cable cable on its own because sometimes you can get the software free and for the Bluetooth link because also sometimes you can get the software on your mobile phone and essentially you're looking to see that the movement on the chart matches the movement of the accelerator pedal. In the case of mine when it went wrong I was actually getting movement showing on the chart when I wasn't touching the pedal at all so bear in mind it's not just erratic movement when you push the pedal it's actually sometimes you can get movement showing when you're not touching anything. Okay, uh, as always I hope you um, found that useful hope you got some information from that I hope you found it amusing, I try and make them amusing if you did please hit the like button please share the video remember to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that you get the future videos when they come out so until next time is looking at you kid <laughs>